hello, Virgo. And crosswalkers, of course. My favorite little nibnoosies. Anyway. Thank you. Um, for those watching, this is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the reading in December to January. Uh, I'm not be doing a bonus read, but I will be doing the New Year's reads for the sign sometime between now and January. So, whenever you get it, right? Now, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes, right? There's no re la, 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 la. There's no reason to be wasting your time on something that doesn't really um, go with your story. You know, I'm just a bus driver and I'm going a certain route. Let's see where we're heading, right? Newcomers. You want a personal infos down in the description box below. First one's on the house. Everything can be tipped and donated because I take that shit. But after that, everything comes with a price. I said everything so fucky. I've been on the mark. Hmm. So your energy is the Queen of Wands reverse. Someone's in total bitch mode. Very impatient. And the situation is leaving something. Might have set fire to something, but you probably don't care. That's okay. Either way, you're going to go start something different. Like, invest in something different. Or at least that's what someone's trying to do here. The wants and wishes is just to end something already. With the death card. However, we have the three of swords, which is a broken heart. Third party situation, possibly. Fears and rejections is a missed opportunity. And how this shit starts, how it'll end. Possibly you, Virgo, with the Queen of Pentacles. Also, Capricorn or Taurus. What's your begin theme? Trying to get back in out of the cold. Hmm. Murder and Cluster Archer, this feels like independence. Which is crazy, like, every sign has a theme, I've noticed. Yours is always about independence. Or not wanting to put up with somebody who's just an ungrateful shit for everything you do. Because you do a lot for people. And they don't understand your perspective. Sometimes your perspective can be really judgmental. I don't know, like, you know... My mother once screamed at me because I was picking tomatoes out of soup when I was a kid because I didn't like how the tomatoes tasted in the soup. This bitch literally screamed at me, you're ruining the soup! And it was just like, what the fuck? It's just soup, mom. It's food. <laughs> like, I don't know what was up with her that day, but it was just like, you lost your mind. It is just soup. Who cares if it's changing it or not? I don't like the tomatoes. I'm gonna eat around the tomatoes. I'd rather not. Like, I'd just rather pick them out so I don't have to deal with that kind of shit. Because if I if eat one, I'm gonna go plop. But no, whatever. <laughs> That's my mom. She's a Virgo. Anyway, this Queen of Wands right here. She is angry because she's losing control of shit, apparently. Having a lot of sour feelings, just riding in, being like, you're a bitch. And then, like, just walking off like it matters and stuff and that's because like she's pretty insecure with herself outright you know with the situation below where someone wants to leave something shitty and go to something different even if it's empty even if it doesn't look like there's anything there it's just like this desert place is better than the flames i leave behind right ending it once again we're going to cross you might just be leaving because fuck this right um, you don't see any other choice because the world you're looking at right now is just ridiculous. Or you want to make your own world. Um, but you're very wary that going out, you'll still want to come back in one way. Like, you recognize there's a lot of trash in the sea. A lot like fish. I actually did a reading about that last night. I was actually organizing your cards. Uh, or organizing the cards anyway. Because I was picking them up because I left them from last night. I usually have a tendency to leave the cards there. Because fuck it. Why not? And... I don't know. It was weird because I was, I was thinking of you guys. About organization or something like that. 
But I can't remember exactly what I was thinking about right now because I have the memory of a goldfish, but it was while I was doing that. Like, something popped in my head. It'll probably come back after I, I'm on, like, Scorpio or some shit. <laughs> Speaking of Scorpio, we have the death card. Someone's put an end to things. Someone doesn't want to let go of their betties. And they're comfortable being left out in the cold. walking away with their feelings. Hmm. You know, it's like they've been out in this cold for so long, because that's how I always take this card. It's like it's never trying to come back in. The dude has every t opportunity to come back in standing up, but now he's just asleep. He's taking a nap night night, you know? So, he's just comfortable out there. He's gotten used to the weather. And now, even though there's feelings here, someone's just gotta walk away from it. Put an end to the fuck this shit. But there's a lot of trash in the sea. But at this point, it doesn't matter. You just wanna escape. I mean, you wish you had a reason to stick around despite all of this. Because it's a lot of open water. And it's a lot of places you don't know. And it's dark. But it's also like, you know. What choice do I have? That kind of feeling. You gotta get organized, man. Obstacle and challenge, the Bergen Heart with the Three of Swords, having to travel to become this Queen of Pentacles yourself, Virgo. Um. Hmm. Or someone's trying to travel to you because you know that, like. I don't know. Hold up. Let's drop the last one because, like, I want to make sure I'm correct on this. There's a page here, but they're coming up as a really um, authoritative fucking king of wands right now. Ooh, two more. Okay. Uh, you might want to deliver something, but they aren't really going to take any action. It's like, you might, yeah, so you're traveling to become this queen of pentacles. Um, because this person's being all stingy and shit. Like, you'd give them whatever. Um, Virgo, but they aren't taking any action towards you. It could be a fire sign, of course. Doesn't have to be. Um, I don't think I've called out anybody but you, so, you know. Uh, but we do have Leo, Sag, Aries here. All the fire signs. Mmm. I can't... Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, I think that's all that's here right now. I don't... Well, I see one sword, at least. Yeah, I think it's only been one sword. It's like you're worried about, like, having to, um... It's like this... It, it's like you could go somewhere, but you're really, um... Awkward about the situation because, like, there's... Like, where are you gonna go? Kind of feel, you know? Like, there's so many places to go... You don't know where to go. Fears or rejections is missing an opportunity. Maybe communicating, reaching out, healing, making a wish come true with the star. You know, to be the goodest boy ever, you know, Ten of Pentacles. That, like, it just, love that doesn't compare. Like, you look in his eyes, he's just like, you just don't know, man, I love you, you know? Like, he's all excited to see you all the time. But, you know, that would be like... Like, taking a nap while everything's burning down around you. You want to take a break, but there's a fire here. Everything is burning down, dude. Or someone will sleep through the disaster. Queen of Pentacles. How the shit starts, how the end. Full cycle. Um, you might not know that you have a hand in this. Or you might not know what you're capable of. The, like if there was an eclipse recently, it didn't fucking help you one bit. Just went right over your head and under your feet. Or you're recognizing something in that. Yeah, that, like what you're securing isn't really secure. It's old, it's outdated, it doesn't work anymore. But you might be a little bit blind to that, Virgo and Crosswatchers. 
Just letting you know. Like, don't kill the messenger here. But we're only halfway, so. I'm just probably talking shit. Um, but you need to run from that shit. Just go. Just, just take off. Get in the car and drive. Do that for yourself. What's the ending theme, please? The Empress wants to get out of this cold ass shit and get warm again. Like, her titties are all hanging out while she's in the streets anyway. At least if she's wearing a shirt, it's okay. Her feet are still bare, but it looks a lot warmer. You know? Over on top in the energy, yeah, someone just wants to throw the swords down at this bitch and be like, carry your own shit! And, you know. Get back in the boat and do whatever. They already got their own swords. Do they really need four more to worry about? You know, start a new beginning. Start a new journey. It's that urge, that desire to be like, people will think I'm dead if I just drop off this ledge and I never have to talk to them again. I can go to the Bahamas without having to... Yeah, let's do it. We're going on a trip. A road trip. Down below in the situation, no communication is going on whatsoever, and that's producing um, some bad shit, right? Leading to a crossroads. I'll drop one more on that, because that one's interesting. Um, yeah, it's leading to a cross. Like, okay, so what you're not saying, or what you're not trying to do, which could be like communication, healing. Which, you know, or fixing yourself. Like, let's not use, like, such retro words here. Like, you know. Healing is one thing, but fixing yourself is a completely different thing. But if you're not doing any of that, you're going to be at a position where someone's going to lead you at your crossroads to being unhappy. And I don't think you want to be. Wants and wishes, if you wishes. King of Pentacle. It might be your counterpart. They just give you shit. Bullshit to be specific. They rub it on the pentacle and then give it to you. Um, as a way of like mediating conflict. Like you know they give you bullshit. They know they lie to you in order to justify why there is conflict. It's like that's what he does. I always like the King of Pentacles as a bit of a swindler. He's got the bison in there. Bison Bill or whatever. And he's just rubbing his bullshit on the pentacle. Just being like, here, take this. I'm sorry. Are, are you happy now? <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Obstacles and challenges. And there his pentacle is. Giving you a bug. Something you, that, like, it was like surprise. It's all over your hands now. And it's got legs and eyeballs, and, it, and you don't know how to get it off no matter how much you shake your fucking hand. Uh, that, this is literally, to me, the pentacle that the king of pentacle is rubbing on his bison. It's great bullshit. It's like, this obstacle right here, you might get handed this, and you might take this, thinking, oh, okay, at least this is something I can invest in. I'll go put this somewhere so it's safe, and bam, you get fucked up played yourself. That's exactly what happens. Like, if you take this dude's pentacle and allow him to mediate and discuss things with you to where, like, there's no conflict, um, it could come back on you. I feel like, I don't feel like this person's gonna mess themselves up. I feel like you'll do that if you take what they're handing you. Um, it's something that you definitely value, um, but valuing it is not a good idea with this person. Like fears and rejections. You gotta manifest some shit. Yes. Yeah, you're manifesting a situation where like if someone is not going to be putting in the energy. You are. It could be a cancer. Um, you could also be causing yourself to be like stagnant, just sitting there looking at your phone. Like, is this person ever gonna talk to me or call me? But I don't. I, I like you're like if you do, they're gonna want to talk to you. But it's still gonna be bullshit that they're giving you, and it's gonna be stuck to your hand. 
could even be an STD, if you will. Sometimes I think that card. Like, like the Ace of Pentacles is just fucked up to me. Like, everybody else gets a fucking animal. That's, like, all cuddly and cool looking. We get a fucking bug. Like, I know it's, like, earth and grass and shit, but still, you know. Why do we get a bug? Like, he's got a bison. Why couldn't we have, like, a rabbit? Or a deer? Or, I don't know, um... A fucking puma. That'd be awesome, but no, we get a bug. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Um, let me drop one more on your fears and rejections real quick. Just to clarify what else could happen. Mm, yeah, it'll be like you'll be so busy looking at this shit, you won't see where you're going. Like, you'll be running too fast to it in order, before you can assess it. Queen of Pentacles, that's you up there. It's, it's gonna make you, like, too obsessed with this pentacle that you're expecting to be getting from your counterpart. This, um, wanting to do whatever. But it's bullshit, because, like, you leave thinking that you're getting something, and no, he just fucks you up off your horse. You know? How this shit starts, how it'll end. That's strange. The lovers and the sun. Both could represent Gemini. Also, Leo's in here. Um, it's like you two... It's like... Okay, let's say you're the one who gave the apple, right? After that, it's been, like, kind of a childish game of you trying to tug on this person because, like, they have the happiness that you want with them, right? One more, because I was confused. But now it's time to get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. It's time to go. Take your two pentacles, because I don't think you want his pentacles. Well, you could take the dream of wanting of having his pentacle with you. Um, just because the person can't physically be with you one way or another does not mean you can't carry the memories you have with them. And get some solace there to know that you are loved one way or another. Past, present, or future. Which, you know, time is not is just a human concept. Time really doesn't exist. So if someone loves you now, they've loved you forever. And even before that. And that's rewarding in itself. So... Virgo and cross watchers. That's the fucking reading I got for you. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. You don't got to if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all later. I love your faces. Please be good or be good at it. Bye-bye.